See news coming out. Obviously, 298 was this weekend. 299 is coming up, and then 300 was announced a main event. Um, 298 had some pretty cool storylines coming yep. out of it. Danny Barlow from Memphis Shout from out. Law School. Hell MMA. yeah, left hand to God. Left hand to God, baby. Uh, knocked out. Was it Johnny Quinlan? Is that his Johnny? Uh, it was, uh, or it was Quinlan. It was Quinlan. Yeah. Quinlan. Just Quinlan. Quinlan, who has, man, the dude had hands. He had power, Yep. but he Barlow has, knocked him schlepped. out. Yeah, he got schleppy schlepped in that um, fight. Um, and and then, he broke his arm, apparently, earlier in that fight. Quinlan or Barlow? Barlow. Barlow. Did he? Yeah, yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah. Probably so. Um, and then, obviously, the uh, main event. Mm. Um, we saw the uh, the final or the the end of a of a title reign by um, Volkanovski um, getting slept by Ilya Tepo- Teporia. Yeah. Is right. this the Tepor- Teporia era? Talk Danny Barlow, Teporia era. What, what do y'all think? I want to talk about Barlow first. Did you get to watch a fight? Yeah. It was I, – I thought he – stood and traded when he was asked to defend a takedown he did that yeah and i think it was about as good a ufc a deb- ufc debut as you can ask for get a knockout yeah hell yeah own a guy on the feet hey. be exciting he did he checked all the boxes for dana white to really probably yeah. latch on to him and love him yeah the one thing i'll say on danny barler before we transition to Ilya taporia and alexander volkanovsky is the moment didn't look too big yeah. for him and also he, listen and he's 28 and he's gonna have more fights where this comes from but defend a little better there's right. some things around the edges to work on but man but, shout out but you know you know you know sometimes yeah, in there, in those, find better angles i heard those, dean thomas talking about that or is that his name yeah, dean dean thomas? Thomas, yeah, yeah talking about it during the fight he's like he could knock this guy out right now if he just found better angles and yeah. used his feet offensively sometimes in those ufc debuts though you see the nerves get the best and i, 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 I didn't think, see that didn't see even that slightly and and he's man just quick sidebar before we get into the yeah. rest of it it is massively fun to just have a guy from Memphis that we can root on every For time. For sure. Like, there's just a pride about it. Yeah, you absolutely. Can just, every time you know he's on the card, you tune in. Yeah. You're rooting for him. I, I, I love that. Yeah. I love that part of I it. I mean, I felt that way about Rampage. Rampage. Rampage didn't live in Memphis, right? right? Like, Danny Barlow is in South Memphis. He's Westwood. Like, right. this dude, Law School MMA is here in Memphis. They are a massive crew shout out to the attitude mma guys yep. man like if you are a memphis fan and you love the mma stuff you have or if you're a memphis resident or even somewhere close you have got to come and check out attitude mma fights because yes. that's where danny barlow got to start that's the first first card i went to at attitude mma i got to see danny barlow in the in the uh Main event. Knock and now out, they're knock out a dude in the first round. Yeah. It's phenomenal. And like, now they're putting dudes in the uh, UFC. So like they're getting noticed too over there, man. They're getting better contracts. They're getting more eye, eyeballs on their events. Yeah. It's yeah. It, it really is worth it. It's I, worth I it can to go. say that a hundred percent. It's worth it. All right, let's talk. Let's go two ninety nine real quick. Well, okay. no, well, we gotta we gotta get to Volk. Real oh, quick. Vulcan. Yeah, let's, I'm sorry. let's Vulcan. hit it, let's hit it yeah. real quick. And then Kenny for <sighs> for talking two ninety nine and three hundred. Uh, I just want you to give us a. We're doing this totally on the fly, but I want you to give us like a list of the fights on the two main cards, and I want to rank the top yep. five for two ninety nine and three hundred. Okay, but okay. Volk and Ilya Taporia. Volk's one of my favorite fighters in the UFC. I love Alexander Volkanovsky. He's been as game as they come, and he's been incredible. But there's something about that 35 year old age, and you've got people talking about this he's now. He's too active, man, he's for too, his own good. And, that, and that's the thing. I don't think he's falling off skills wise. I just think being 35 and being in some of the fights that he's been in, he hasn't been in a ton of wars. But it's just a, it, it's just that back to back to back to back. We saw Israel Adesanya get kind of worn down from this and be like, I need to take a break. I, I don't think it'd be ba- bad for Volk. He suffered that head kick loss. I think it was in October to Islam Makachev bad knockout then he comes back in this fight gets caught right on the button by Ilya Teporia shuts his lights out even though Volk won the first round but on Ilya Teporia he's incredible like he is clearly I I believe the future of the featherweight division because if you can beat Alexander Volkanovsky you can beat anybody in that division yes but okay if someone can take him into the fifth round, I think Max Holloway is an interesting one. It's it is interesting because of his for him. cardio. Yeah, his cardio is unbelievable, and he can just keep you at bay. He can keep you on the end of punches but for five rounds. If Ilya but makes if Ilya contact, Tepuri, I swear. And I like here's the thing about Volk. If you're if you're talking about his chin, I think that's fair because he's fought so many times in a row. And maybe if he would have taken a nine months off, maybe he doesn't get his lights shut out that right. bad. But Ilya Tapuria, man, his accuracy. 
Yeah. When he when he finds an opening, he's taking it and he is shutting your lights out. It's stunning Dude's stuff. Got hands. Like I'm I'm not kidding, man. Like if you go just look at his best knockouts throughout his career, it, it's one punch out, yeah. fall straight down, yeah. legs out. limp, gone. Yep. He is ridiculous with his pop. Yep. It's nuts. But I think, man, when we talk about like well-rounded strikers, like Max Holloway fighting that guy, it'd be fun. I'm not saying Max Holloway picks him apart and like hurts him real but bad. He, he gives him a challenge for but sure. But damn, man, if he can go five rounds with that guy, he could win a decision pretty handily. I think. Yeah, possibly. But Ilya Tapuria is free. He's, he's what fifteen and zero. Yeah, and twenty-seven years old. God, he's got hands. He's legit. He's got pop. Yeah, crazy pop. All right, let's compare two ninety nine and three hundred main cards. Are we just doing main cards? Or yeah, are we doing so. So take two ninety nine and three hundred. Read both main cards, yes. and I want me and Gabe to kind of rank the top fights. On we can do top three. We'll do the top three fights say, between hey, the two cards. Let me tell you something. All of both of those cards from top to bottom are stacked. Are stacked. stacked. Yeah. All right. So top three for two ninety nine. No, for both. No, hold, I'm no, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I see what you're saying. All right, top three for two ninety nine: Kevin Holland versus Michael Venom Page. That's gonna be an absolute banger. Sorry, kid, keep going. No, I mean <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, just announced it was dropped. Now it's back. Dustin Poirier versus Benoit Saint Denis. Banger, banger. Yep. Benoit Saint Denis is a monster killer. All right, yep. uh, championship fight: Sean O'Malley versus Marlon Cheeto Vera. I like that for the. Oh, I yep. like that for the. You know. Banger. Yeah, I want to see Sean O'Malley avenge himself potentially. Yeah, all see right. if it was a fluke or not. Keep going though. Keep so going. the third. So all right, that's the top three. The three. <laughs> it's impossible in the three hundred. Like <laughs> you could go all of them. Uh, here we go. Uh, you're talking about Max Holloway fighting Ilya Taporia. He always got to get Gaethje. through Justin Gaethje. Banger in three hundred. It's the BMF fight. Oh God. Okay. And then uh, Zhang Wei Lee versus Yan Xiaonan. Okay. I like Zhang. She might be one of my favorite fighters to watch. I love Zhang Wei Lee. Uh, main car or the title fight is Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. I okay. think I, I don't even think you listed possibly the best fight between the two cards, which is Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukian. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. a banger. All um, right. Between those six fights, what's your top three, Gabe? Okay. Uh, just because I love Kevin Holland, let me put Holland and Michael Venom Page in there because I know they're just going to be fucking That is going to be yeah. wild. They're gonna, it'll be a war. Yeah. It, may be out, it may be done in the first round, but they're going to go yeah, to war it's gonna be, it's for gonna one be good. round. Um, uh, I'll go with... Uh, All right. but you, Okay. I'll go with Oliveira Sarukian and two. Okay. Give me a uh, winner. Two. Oh, wait. We'll, we'll do that. You know, we'll have time to get that okay. done. Okay. Okay. And then number one, just for... The the entertainment value and avenging a loss. Give me Cheeto and O'Malley at the wow. top. Wow, those are your top three. Yeah, give me Cheeto and O'Malley. Right. Christian, what's your? Top I really three? want to put Kevin Holland and MVP in there, but I, I had won't, to. I, won't I had because to because I'm a big Kevin Holland. Fan. Yeah, I, I am too. I, I love Kevin Holland, but I'll go. But I, I I hate leaving out. Damn. Yeah, G G G G G G G G G is my number one. That's so what are y'all talking about? Let me leave number out, one. honestly. But I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I have to leave that out. Just yeah. even yeah. though I'm gonna love it. Yeah, that's my number one. That's my number one. Gaethje Holloway, two, uh, Charlie Olives and Sarukian, and three is uh, Cheeto Vera and Sean O'Malley. Okay. Nobody's saying Jamal Hill and. Alex uh, yeah. it, I mean, it's close. Well, it's really close. Here's my thing about the light heavyweight division in general. Let If Poetan, if we have Alex Pajeda win another fight and he's sort of holding that belt, we can have more uh, entertainment value, name right. recognition value. Light heavyweight kind of has to build light up Light heavyweight first. is sort of at the, at the ground level That's right true. now. Just All let right. it build. We have the same three fights. Pick the winners. I'm gonna go. O'Malley beats Cheeto, mm -hmm. gets the revenge. I'm gonna. I I'm guess. gonna go. I'm gonna go. Sarukian. I'm going. Page. No way. Sarukian no way. beats Charles I'm, Oliveira. I'm going Page Oliveira and uh, Gaethje. And uh, I didn't put Gaethje in that in my. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But I'm gonna go Page over Holland, Oliveira over Sarukian, and I'm gonna go my uh, third. Uh, it was it was Cheeto and O'Malley. I'm gonna go O'Malley. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Gaethje for Gaethje Holloway. Yeah, but we have some great fights. No, dude. Banger. I was surprised as hell that we had Jamal Hill get in the get in the nod for yeah. Pajeda. But 
It's going to be a good fight. I mean, with all the stuff, he's the law of trouble. Right. But those are, those are two those are two exciting fighters. That's a it, It's going to be a good fight. I, I will be interested to see how Jamal Hill comes back from the Achilles' his first fight back from injury, but we shall see.